Hello everyone. If uh, you're interested in a ring security system, I just got one a couple weeks ago, been playing with it. So far it's working pretty good. You have these contact sensors for the doors or windows. And I have one door that is not wired uh, for an alarm system, but the rest of my house, the windows and the, the doors are all wired. Had a previous a Demco alarm system in it, and I would really like to use those. So instead of using this the way it comes, I'm gonna show you how to modify them so that they're wired, such as this one. And it does work, I've already tested this one. First off, we just get rid of the magnet. A few simple tools, I'll describe them as we go through. I use just an old cheap flat, flat blade screwdriver and get that out of the way. Pull the battery tabs out. Pull the batteries out. Set those out of the way because they will fly everywhere. Now, I need to take this piece here out. This plastic piece is a retainer piece. And I found on, I've already done two of these, so I found it's easier to start off in the middle. So don't ask me why I started on the end. But start off in the middle and pop that thing out, as you can see. And then the board, it's a little tough, but start in the back. And I call the back the rounded edge. It tends to come out a little easier. Now, the way a magnetic or door sensor works in this particular one, you have this little sensor right here. It's a magnetic reed sensor. And whenever the magnet gets close to it, it closes. When a magnet moves away from it, it opens it, and that's how it talks to the alarm system. And what I need to do is take this out. And since I'm an amateur at this, although I've been doing it for years, I don't have all the tools out with me that I would like to have. And I would highly recommend you uh, you have a sense of uh, a soldering, that you're pretty good at it. Just teed it up enough to break the, the, the connection. And be careful, this little reed switch is glass. I broke the first one. Okay, we got one to end of it up. As you can see. And I'll get the other end up. Now, a lot of people's probably gonna say you're not statically grounded and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, I tend to not mess with that. It's a cheap fix if I do blow this one up, but if you are concerned with it, make sure that you have some type of a static mat or static strap on when you're soldering with any type of MOSFET type of semiconductors. That way you don't zap it. Now this thing's not wanting to heat up for me right now. I'll put just a dab a little more solder on there. And of course you don't want to get any adjacent components very warm. Okay, that one's out. So that's a magnetic reed switch. That little thing is what makes the whole thing work. Set it aside for maybe a future project. And you can use pretty much any old wire. I've got some old twisted pair of wire here that I'm gonna use. And you don't need to strip off much, just enough to tin and attach. And again, I'm cheap, so I use whatever I have around here to help me hold things. Uh, put just a little tin on that one, and I forgot to do something. Since I'm going to come out of the bottom of this thing, I want my wires to be just long enough to reach across there without bending. 
and that one's just an eyeball. If you can see, it'll go to the two pads where the reed switch came out of. And let me go ahead and get that other one tinned up. And this doesn't take much. Now one of them I did, I did a little close to the edge and the wire was on the edge of the PC board and that made it a little difficult to get back into the case. So make sure that your wires are up on top of the board. Sorry if you can't see that very well, but Okay, so now that's going to replace our reed switch. And I'm going to cut this off about yay long. And then I'll run a Cat5 cable from my alarm panel up into the attic where the old alarm panel used to be. And that's what I'll tie these all in together. Now, to get that cable out, I'm going with the opposite end of the button. It just seems to work out pretty good for me. And that's gonna go in there like that, so I want my hole to be right in here. I could drill, uh, you do whatever you want to. I happen to have an old soldering iron that's just, it's not good for solder anymore, but it is really good to make holes in plastic. And take your trusty X-Acto knife and trim that off. Sometimes easier said than done. There, that's starting to look a little bit better. And don't forget the inside. Probably may not have much inside, but you just don't want any sharp edges. It's going to cut into your cable. <clears throat> There we go, run that down in there like that. Now, if this button happens to pop out, it's easy to go back in. Just make sure that you uh, notice that the tabs, there's one tab larger on one end than the other, and it'll have to go back in the same way it came out. And then just line everything up. Slide this thing back in place. Might need a little help around the tabs. Of course, the first one I decide to video is the one that's going to give me the most trouble. not one to cooperate with me for some reason today. There, went right in that time. It's funny how things like that go. Now this one goes back in also. We'll put it in. Now there, here's your tamper switch. That way, if anybody removes the cover, it'll send alert uh, that somebody's tampering with it. You wanna make sure that lines up back up in this groove in the middle. And again, that'll, that's gonna snap all into place. There we go, all back in place. Now, hook this end up to your house wiring, the, the one that's already pre-wired into your house or has already been in your house. Put the batteries in, put the cover back on it, and pair it with your system. 
and then that should work off the magnetic uh, contacts that are already mounted inside the door and inside the trim of your existing alarm, alarm system. I hope this helps. Um, I did this on the, the Samsung Smart Things. It worked well with that one also. Uh, I had the ADT version and they discontinued, so I shopped around, decided what I was gonna try next. And I kinda like the ring system. Give it a shot and see how well it works. So far, I'm happy with it. Like I said, I've only had it in for a couple days and uh, still playing with it. But anyway, there you go. That's how you take a wireless device and make it a wired device. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to, uh, to answer them for you. Although right now you probably know about as much about it as I do. Thank you.